Hey guys, it's a crazy hat in here, back with some more of the cat lady. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm so excited. I've actually been dreaming about this game. I can't wait to see what happens next. All right, I'm going to jump right into it. I know it's New Year's Eve. We're all probably getting ready to head out and see the fireworks. Yay! Yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. There's a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. I always wanted to be an artist myself. He's It'll obviously be a, long a doctor. Time before I can call myself that, I often say that patrons are my kin. But my job is more about... Probably a psychologist. Obviously. I look at the damaged human mind and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry. I'm probably boring. Sounds like a psychologist. It's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course. And go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts. Well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. This is just a formality. I could tell a straight away. Wasn't the candles a formality? Nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? I'll <coughs> answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? She's awake, Doctor. Is that me in the bed? Is that Susan? Good evening. It's good to see you awake at last. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Could you confirm your name for me, please? Wasn't it Ashworth? Susan <clears throat> Ashworth. Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain function is just fine and there's no permanent damage of any sort. We've checked your internal organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. They you must have pumped your stomach. Tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please let them know if you need anything. Take care, Mrs. Ashworth. No, for someone who is Please, most trust. likely dead, what and I come back with no damage after taking pills, that's incredible. Don't, Mrs. Ashworth, your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. Your voice is a little irking. I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. My name is Liz, by the way. I... I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. Tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but... You know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You... Doing what you've done, <coughs> and her walking in, 
seeing what she saw. That was a chance. One in a million. Who's she? I'm not making any sense again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell My character you. wants to sleep. I You're over talking. Ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18 year old. Go away. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go. But I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? The fuck? <clears throat> what? Bad dream. Yeah, a really bad one. I knew it. I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have woken you up. What was it about? I was burnt alive. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. There was this woman on the emergency unit, and she really wanted to smoke, you know? But they wouldn't let her, of course. She wasn't well at all. Not just injured, but not right in the head. She was on 10 litres of oxygen through the face mask. She had to stay in bed, she was told. But she wouldn't listen, of course. And as soon as they'd left, she lit up a fire. Oof. The whole room went up in flames. And so did she. Guess you didn't really want to know that, did you? That's just you gotta me. work on your bedside manner. I never know when to shut up. Yeah, obviously. I think her name was Liz. What happened? <clears throat> well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm. And then... All of a sudden... I was on the field of barley. It was great at first. I felt happy. I was free. But it soon got worse. There was this tunnel. But there was no light at the end of it. Only darkness. Then I got lost in the woods. There was my dead body hanged on the tree. A burning car. You don't sound crazy right now. A deer. I heard something behind the trees. But I didn't dare to look. Then I found <clears> the house. The old woman who lived there. I think she was death. Or maybe she was the devil. I'm not sure. She said they call her the Queen of Maggots. She said I should go back. Gave me another chance. And so, here I am. Weird dream, eh? Maybe it wasn't a dream. I really believe in that sort of stuff. It's not impossible. It felt real, but it was just a dream. Can you now tell me who found me and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, she has a daughter. She would be dead now, Susan. My daughter? Yes. Why? She looks so pale all of a sudden. Susan? I don't have a daughter. Hmm. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied. It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. How long have I been here? I was 
told you arrived at the hospital at seven in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, but they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit, where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as the condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. Huh. It's called Dying Ward. I call it Die Ward. Because all the patients... This is not her... <laughs> it's a suicide watch unit. That's why it's so strange. I think she's in the wrong line of work. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. He's a chief of psychiatry in this hospital. I wonder if she's one of the parasites. He's really good at getting into Trying so hard to be my friend. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Did you see this daughter of mine? No, sorry, Susan. Apparently, she came in the ambulance with you. But then she remembered something and had to go. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. She was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. Um, saving your life? Your sarcasm is really not welcome. Give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume so. That girl is a hero. Maybe real heroes always leave before their identity is revealed. Or she was a burglar, attempting to steal from me. Hmm. That's a possibility too. Have you got anything very precious in your flat? Maybe. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? You don't. Do I really look like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. <coughs> Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. Oh. When they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? We'll start with a little chat about <coughs> your childhood. I want you to be <coughs> as honest as possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now, and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that... He has to be a psychologist. You better. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? Yeah. Huh. I had a great dad. <clears throat> I have very fond memories of my father. He was always there for me, no matter what I did. He never got angry or upset. I suppose I never really gave him any reasons to be. I was a good child. Not perfect. But then again, no one's perfect. Whatever made me try to kill myself, it definitely has nothing to do with him. Where is he now? He died six years ago. Cancer. Do you miss him? Of course I miss him. How can you even ask me that? It's my job to ask this question, Susan. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? I can't complain. My mum was great. 
she brought me up well. Me and her. We were like best friends. Like soulmates. We did everything together. She passed away seven years ago. When Dad first got diagnosed with cancer, it was too much for her. He kept pretending he was fine, but she just couldn't take it. Her heart gave up. She died quickly. My father kept fighting it. Another eight months of illness and intensive chemo finally beat him, though. He thought he was unbeatable, but he wasn't. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes and we will talk about something else. I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. <coughs> Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. There's nothing under the pillow, okay. Lisa loves this time. Probably broken charges and batteries. Oh. Who else does this? Be honest. Did this hear a clicking sound? Can I make a phone call, please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's being used at the moment. Can you please come back in five minutes? Hmm. Thanks. Is Liz here? And who's Liz? That young nurse who was here last night. Black hair, very chatty. She said her name was Liz. Uh, I'm sorry, a lot of people come through here. I can't remember everyone's name. Can you return to your bed now, please? It's nearly time for your medication. I can't be chasing around after every single patient. Beg your pardon. Whoa. Look, you're very busy at <clears> the <throat> moment. I'm sitting on your time, ass. All right? It's not like you're doing paperwork or anything on the computer. I'd like to go home now. Well, so would I. But there are procedures and a system in place. I can't just let you go like that. What? Look. I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, all right? A search letter for Ann Burton. Currently a patient. Oh, well, someone's getting out. Jim she made it herself in the hospital, allowed to leave whenever she wishes. Please do not touch these. Okay. They are all confidential documents. So they shouldn't yeah. be out then. Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. That's for patient files. They are pulled up on the desk. Excuse me, <coughs> where's the exit? It's just down the corridor, ma'am. Oh, this is easy. But apparently, I don't get out I see the discharge since I'm first? talking to a doctor. What for? Some of our patients are under observation and aren't allowed out of the ward. For their own safety, of course. It sounds like we're prisoners here. It's for the patient's safety, ma'am. If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. May I ask what your name is? I'm not gonna. I'll come back later. Please do, Mum. We'll be right here. Hmm.
Wait, how did I get... Wait, what? Must be patient with someone too. God doesn't... Doesn't look to be... Okay, okay, I guess it's not me? Okay. <clears throat> Hi. <coughs> Are you alright? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless... It's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. Um, yeah, sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. But you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yeah, sure I do. Now... Let me ask you. What is it? Oh. Well. What is my mother's name? Hmm. Hmm. Uh -oh. Hmm. Hmm. Elizabeth. No, you're wrong. Leave me alone. Ooh, Please. Okay. Just leave me alone. Okay. I'll be back. If you're still here. Am I supposed to like over? Uh... There's a crack line on the side. Am I supposed to fight my way out? <gasps> Am I supposed to give this to the other patient? Dying for me ever since I woke up. Oh, okay. Running for emergency assistance. Hmm. I wonder. What? Where did the writing come from? Now I'm curious. I'll be back to hit that button in a second. Okay, there's no mirror in here. Am I, uh, <laughs> you want to hurt yourself? I 
I guess I can't take anymore. Am I supposed... There goes a click again. Am I supposed to... Overflow everything and slit someone's neck? The writing is gone. I can't move. Someone's coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? The toilet's blocked. What? Oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, like I do. I see. Fine. I'll sort it out. Just give me a minute. Ah, oh, it's the gloves. Again! I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty, since the cleaners called them sick. I don't gotta kill anyone. Hey, um. Would you like a piece of glass? Be a distraction for me to get out. Oh, okay. I'll take that. I don't really need any of those. I like to run out of my name. I got the papers. Yeah, I can't do anything with it yet. Um, I guess I have to figure out her mother's name. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. <clears throat> Let me just think for a second. Alice. No, you're wrong. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Can I keep trying to guess? If you really are a friend. You will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yes, 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 but yes. I, know it. I wish I could skip. Let me just think for a second. Joan. No, you're wrong. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. It wasn't you who did it, was it? I don't know what you're talking about. Someone just stuck a bunch of... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's sorted now. I just hope it's the last time I've put my hands in that stinking toilet. But she left that on. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. I want you to stay in here. Oh, oh, um. Hmm. I'm feeling a bit woozy. Are you really? You look fine to me. No, I I'm really not feeling well. Fine. I'll call the doctor for you. But I can't help it if he's busy and can't get here straight away. In the meantime, I know how to make you feel better. I, I can eat your pills. Give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? It's 
Susan Ashworth, 24th of May, 1970. Gotta scare the doctors what I'm they want. That's fine. That's fine. I'd like you to drink this liquid, please. It will help you relax. It will help you relax. Did she just... Wait, what? I could have sworn she just repeated herself. Now, drink it down. You'll feel much better. That's right. Once you're gone, I'll throw it right back up in that toilet. Now, go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. As a nurse, shouldn't you be ex... Bring it up. Bring it up. Now, why did I do that? Why would I do all this? Can't go anywhere. Why? Why would I do this? God, I'm so fucked up. What was the point of any of that? Wait, 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 wait. I one off and I feel better now, but I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. Wasn't that in my head? Why is I here? The fuck? If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's... I probably can't do anything until I figure out her name. I will sit here all day if I have to and guess every single name. Think for a second. Why is it only giving me one? Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. that's oh my god, that's what it was spelling in the bathroom. Because at first we saw, oh my god, Sheila. Yes. Really. It's my mother who sent you after all. I'm sorry I didn't believe you, but my head's all messed up. The fuck? So, let's have a little chat, sweetheart. I want to know what the hell they gave me. They give me acid. Something's wrong with this place. Yeah. It's really nice here. We must stay here. Then Do you belong say. here. Take pills they give us. Sometimes, if I behave... They give me the red stuff. I wait for it. I'm being good. What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favorite one. Red stuff takes the pain away. Is that the stuff that I just collected? The nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They know I'm suffering. But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. What? On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart 
full of drugs. I just can't seem to find it anymore. I see. <laughs> about we swap our name bands oh yeah I don't mind but that would be like a favor to you yeah well technically you wouldn't lose anything because I'd give you my name band instead does that make any sense sure yeah I do want something better in return though I'm not that stupid I know you use it to get out of here oh I never said you're stupid. I... I just really want to go home. Please understand. That's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> Would you like the shard of glass I'll now? You if you get me the red stuff. What do you say? I thought nurses give it to you anyway. No, not that. I'm talking about the real thing. Something you can only get in the world of dreams. Now that is something special. Is it safe? It's perfectly safe. Um, okay. I'll see what I can do. <coughs> what exactly is this little treat you mentioned? It's the red teardrop of pure happiness. They bring it. I drink it down, and my pain goes away. Without it, I just feel so angry. It's like I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's funny, but I just get so fucking angry sometimes. I'm dying, I think. We're all dying, I heard. She said I'd go to hell for it, but I didn't do anything. I didn't know. Does he know? Who? Him! Right. Okay. No, probably not. I need the red medicine. I need it now. I must be a good girl. I must be a nice girl. Maybe I could get you some of that stuff. Do you know where they keep it? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. Or maybe you can. I see it in my dreams sometimes. It's where the nurses are. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. I see it, but I can't get it. It's so near, and yet so far. I can still hear the broken heartbeat of the spider's heart. I'll talk to you later, yeah? Yes. Go. Be careful, they're watching us. And remember, we must be nice to earn the red stuff. Always be nice. Poor woman. Um, is this the red stuff? I've found the thing you asked me for. Oh, holy shit. But are you absolutely- I probably found that way too soon. Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Fine. I hope you know what you're doing. Can I have your name band now, please? Yes. No matter what they say, I do keep my promises. What do they... You know what? It doesn't matter. Thank you for your help. Bye, bitch. Can I give this to you now? Sorry, ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Oh, okay. It wasn't giving me the option to do anything. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Oh, all right. I didn't realize you knew how to read. My character's a go. bitch. Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, ma'am. We'll see you soon. No, you won't. Now get out of my way.
Okay, it's locked. Employees only. Locked. Oh, she's moving. Oh, hi. And you must be Susan Ashworth. Um, Maybe. Well, perhaps I am. Do you mind if I ask you where you're heading to? I was just going for a little walk. Stretch my legs. Get some fresh air. Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital, but luckily we managed to spot it on time. On time? You have no idea what I've been through? Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight, and you can be discharged in the morning. Why can't I go tonight? I want to go now. I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients without a full psychiatric assessment. It's too late for it now, but I promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning, okay? And then you can go home. Is that all right? I haven't really got much choice, have I? Now I'd like to ask you some questions about your life, Susan. You might find them very personal, but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Fine. Let's get it over with then, shall we? I'd like to go home at last. Of course, I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Are you living alone at the moment? I live on my own, and it suits me just fine. I don't need anyone. People mostly bore me. Sometimes they annoy me or upset me. I'm happy with how things are at the moment. I have my little bit of space. And it's my own. It's private. I'd like to keep it that way. What do you do for a living? I don't know. I'm a waitress. I work in a cafe. You do? Do you like it? It's okay. I don't mind it. It's just a job. It's important to keep busy. I'd advise you get back to work as soon as next week. I will. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? I don't take my character as a smoker. Um... breakfast. Cereal, usually. Excellent. A healthy breakfast at the start of the day is extremely important. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? I... yeah, I suppose. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. It makes me feel more like a failure. If I don't see it, it doesn't hurt that much. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? Hmm... Something to fight for. 
you know, a reason to go on. There's always a reason to live. Sometimes we just don't see it that clearly. Well, Doctor, I must have gone all blind then, because I can't see any. Have you ever attended group therapy for depression or some other form of counseling? No, I'm not sure it's a good idea. Especially the group therapy thing. I'd hate it. You should at least give it a go first, and then decide. If you don't she like doesn't it, like you people. Think of something else, yeah? If you insist. But I doubt it'll help. Do you have problems sleeping? <sighs> hmm. Rarely. I sleep well most nights. If anything, I probably sleep too much. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? Definitely better than before the accident. Good. Hopefully you can now move on from here. With a bit of luck, you will enjoy life again. Suicide attempts often have that effect on people. Same as near-death experience. It makes you realize that you're not ready to die yet. Do you find it hard to concentrate? No, not really. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? Only sometimes. I'd suggest you don't consume any alcohol at all for a while. Does that sound like something you can do? Yeah, sure. I'm not a big drinker anyway. Sometimes when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? Mm, give them what they want. No, of course not. I don't know what got into me. It's hard to explain why I did it. I must have thought there was no other options left. But I never used to think about it or plan it. It just happened. As if I'd suddenly lost control. I knew what I was doing was wrong. And yet I was unable to stop it. Strange, isn't it? Please, in your own words, try to explain to me, why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? How am I supposed to know this stuff? Nothing was making me happy anymore. There wasn't a single thing that would bring a smile to my face. I kept thinking, won't it be better if I just disappear? I tried. I really tried to find something. Took a long bath. Picked up a book. Watched some television. But I just couldn't get into anything. All those things seemed like worthless distractions. And I myself felt obsolete. Needless. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. I... I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? And then I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? Not anymore. It's strange. But I feel lighter. I feel stronger. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? My cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. What makes you feel worse?
Mm. Impression is such a tricky thing. Noise. Too much noise really upsets me. I can hear everything through the thin walls of my flat. I have this neighbor. He often parties late into the night. It drives me crazy. Have you imagined your funeral and how people will react to your death? Oh, I never really thought about hmm. that, but I guess it would be a cheap one. I don't really know what they do with people like me. Maybe they just throw us in a hole and forget about it. Since there'd be nobody to visit my grave anyway. I don't think so, Susan. The city would pay for it. Or so they want people to believe. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Who's Eric? Yes, your husband. I believe this might be important. What can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? That's right. I think in the beginning it said her husband died. Oh, goodness. It's getting late. Can we talk about it some other time? Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. This is just a formality. But I have to ask, that are you again. going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But hey, I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We're nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. What exactly happened last night? Well... After I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me, quickly. I went after her. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Harry! Wait for me. Tell me what's going on here. The security guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. I'll explain everything in a minute. Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. Can I enter these rooms now? I don't trust her. <sighs> I'm actually going to have to end this here, sadly. Um, I do have to get ready to go. I'm about to go see the fireworks with my boyfriend, Jesse. Can't wait to go to Penn's Landing. It's going to be fun. Um, I really hope everyone's going to have a great and safe New Year's night. If you're going out to party, please be safe. Do not drink and drive. Uh, all right i really hope you guys enjoy yourselves tonight if you guys want to share your new year's revolutions please put it down in the comments below if you also want me to keep playing this also let me know in the comments below let me know what i'm doing wrong um what i can do to pretty much figure out what can make me better at this game because 
the puzzles are pretty hard. I'm surprised I figured some of that stuff out. <laughs> All right. Be safe, everyone. Have a happy New Year's. Bye.